Hi everybody, I'm Charles Phoenix. Welcome to my test kitchen. It's Easter! As long as I've been doing my retro slideshows, you guys, I've always included pictures, funny pictures of other people's Easter lamb cakes. Now that it's time for me to make an Easter lamb cake, I've decided I'm feeling, hmm, a little more savory, you guys. This is what you need to make the Easter meatloaf of lamb. Carrots with tops, frozen corn and peas, good old-fashioned russet potatoes. This is the wool. And some ground beef. <laughs> oh, this is kind of like the gross part. Oh, not that into gushing meat through my hands. Ah! Meat! A couple eggs in here. And some breadcrumbs, of course. Uh, oops. And oh, of course, you want it to taste like something, so you're gonna need some of this seasoning mix. I probably should have gotten two or three of them. You can never have too much. Okay, now you just are gonna gush it all together. Oh, it's making squirty noises that aren't pleasant. You have to beat your meat. That's what you have to do right on the kitchen counter. You get a big piece of cloth like this. You're gonna dump the meatloaf mixture that's already mixed right out on it like that. Oh, now comes the fun part because you get to beat your meat. The reason why you're doing this, you guys, is because you're beating all of the air out of it so you can impress your guests by slicing your meatloaf paper thin. And now, ooh, yuck, it looks like a big hairy ham. So now it's time to put the meat in the mold, you guys. Force that meat in there, good. Fill in every nook and cranny. Don't be bashful with your beef. Oh, I've never slapped a lamb before. The meat is in the molds and they're ready to be baked. Okay, now the meatloaf is made. It's time to mash the potatoes because that's gonna be the wool. Uh-oh. Ooh. Oh, cream? What's this cream top milk? Never heard of such a thing. Mmm, that's good. Okay, now that the uh, potatoes are mashed, you guys, they are so good, by the way. Don't you love mashed potatoes? Anyway, you gotta wait for the meatloaf to cool, and then we're gonna frost it. We're gonna put the wool on it and put a little face on it. So it will freak out all of your Easter dinner guests. And now it's time to take the Easter meatloaf of lamb out of the oven. <gasps> These are the fattest Easter meatloafs of lambs ever! Look how big they got! Now the first thing we're going to do is make a mound of mashed potatoes to put the lamb on while the lamb is like kind of draining its juices. I've never loved mashed potatoes more, quite frankly. So this is the glue. Literally, the potatoes are the glue. Oh, whoops. That was a big squirty squirt on there. Oh, it's hot, too. Okay, here, this is how it goes together. Ready? One, two, three, and oh! Uh-oh. Now the finishing process begins, you guys. It's time, this is the most fun part of all. You just kind of start squirting. Getting nervous. He's gonna be really cute. He's gonna have a charming and witty personality. And he's gonna win over all your Easter guests. Okay, now come the peas. Put some of those in there, too. If you've over corned or peed, you can fix it. So don't worry, okay? Let me see. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, really? <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> the Easter meatloaf a lamb tried to kill itself by chopping its own head off and falling down on the table. So, okay, if that happens, like it just has at home, then all you can do is one thing only is try to put him back together again. It's like Humpty Dumpty. You're going back together, lamb. We're gonna to give him two little eyes. We are going to quarter the carrots to give him a sunburst. Ow, stab myself. And here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bony trail, hippity hoppity. Easter's on its way. Okay, you guys, so for finishing touches, we're gonna put some of the dyed eggs around them. I mean, it is Easter after all. 
Okay, you guys, here he is. Like, okay, pray he doesn't fall apart again. Easter meatloaf of lamb. Uh-oh. Happy Easter meatloaf of lamb, everybody. Ugh. Ah. Thanks for joining me, you guys, in the Charles Phoenix Test Kitchen today. See you next time. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail, hippity hoppin' Easter's on its way, bringin'